Hey guys, welcome to Star Sign Horoscopes. I am your astrologer, Jamie McGee, and today we are going to be taking a look at the astrology for June 3rd through the 9th. I do hope you guys are having a great week out there. Thank you so much for tuning in. It definitely means a lot to me. Okay, so let's talk about the week ahead. Now, we do not have a lot of transits this week, but I do feel like these are always the weeks that sort of sneak up on us or catch us a little bit off guard. It's kind of like that phase right after a big party or a big event or the end of the season. When you're in that cleanup stage, packing up, looking back so you can look ahead, it's where our emotions, our revelations, our ideas, our lessons all kind of collide in at once. And we find that we either have to take the information that we have now and go back and revise something or take the information we have now and run forward, if not do both of those things at the same time. So depending on how your party went, this week could feel mild or tense or a little bit of both, depending on what day. All right, so let's talk about why. All right, so this week we have Mercury who is going to move forward. He's going to station direct. Now, anytime Mercury goes backwards or forwards to me, it always reminds me of a train shifting tracks. It's a little bumpy. It's a little chaotic. But once you start flowing, everything you know unfolds the way it should. We just have to get through that bumpy little bit of communication or that little bit of a chaotic feeling as it moves direction. So kind of be on the lookout for that. And this week we also have Saturn, the time master stationing retrograde, which is the opposite of what Mercury is going to do. So we have forward motion and now we have retrograde motion. Now Saturn is going to ask you to pause and reflect and think back on actions that you've taken around a particular story that you began in February. He wants you to fortify these things. He wants you to make sure that they are timeless, that they're going to support you in the short term and the long term. Now, this story is something that you're going to work on until October. That's when you're going to be ready to relaunch it. So the urgency is not there, but what could feel frustrating is it's almost like a stall, like everything seems to stop around this story, but knowing that it's stalling so you can go back and revise it and benefit yourself in the long run should be helpful. So I want you to keep that in mind. If anything feels like the brakes are hit and you can't go forward anymore. The question is, how can you go forward in the coming months? How can you make yourself stronger to do that? Now, this week, we also have the quarter moon. Now, the quarter moon is that space between the new moon where we set intentions and the full moon where we start to see the blossoms and the blooms of the intentions that we set. Now, the quarter moon always reminds us of why we need to set, why we wanted to set those intentions and those goals, the goals that we set with the new moon. Now, sometimes this can come with tension, like, you know what? This is why I'm doing this. I can't handle it anymore. This needs to change so everyone feels more comfortable. Sometimes it can come with motivation or inspiration. Either way, the reminder is there for you to pick up those goals and run with them. You don't want them to deflate. You don't want them to disappear. You want to take action when you see the opportunity to work with them this week. All right, guys, with that being said, let's get ready to dive into the signs and talk about how you can work with this energy. Now, please remember to listen to both your sun sign and your rising sign to get a better overall view of how you can work with it. All right, guys, let's get started. Okay, Aries, let's take a look at your week. Now, Aries, your top three focuses for this week are going to be one, restructuring and revising something around your dreams or people in your life that support them, possibly a group of friends or an organization. Two, moving forward with plans around your personal wealth, your skills, and your self-esteem. And three, finding new ways to reach goals that you set around communication last week from something or someone in your daily environment. Now let's talk about why these are your big three areas. Okay. So since the beginning of this year, you may have noticed that you have either lost or gained friends that supported the cause that you were striving for. Or it may be Aries that you have cut people out of your life that could support you now, or that there are still people that you need to remove from your life so you can further chase your dreams. It could really go either way or both ways, depending on your story. Now, what you're going to feel this week is a bit of a quietness that comes over this area of your life. It kind of comes over this social stance that you have. And what it's going to do is it's going to allow you to contemplate who needs to be in your life or what your dream is and how you can support it. Now, this is going to slowly unfold. You're going to work on these revisions until October, but by the time October comes, you're going to be ready to move forward with the right people to support the dream that you have or the cause that you're really trying to support. 
Now this week, there may be something in your day-to-day routines that's either going to support the changes that you're trying to make, or they're going to remind you of why it's important that you make these changes that you're trying to make now. So I definitely encourage you to look for reasons and ways to grow through these transitions, and you will find a way to make the most of both the growth of the new stories and that um, sense of separation or that reflection that's asking you to end older stories so you can move forward. I also think that you may have a breakthrough in how you earn your personal wealth or a new strategy that surfaces this week around your skills or your self-esteem. You've had a little bit of back and forth energy around this energy. Look for something out of the box. Look for some inspiration because it's definitely going to be there this week. You just have to look for it. All right. Have a good week, Aries. I look forward to seeing you next time. Mm -hmm.